Hey everyone, Missy Kitten here, once again with my little Sammy. I think I'm going to keep bringing him on in my videos, because I love him, and he's cute. He's not very photogenic though, so he probably doesn't look as cute in videos. <laughs> anyway, so today I figured to do something a little different. Do you guys watch The Walking Dead? If so, you can stay in this video. If you don't, then you probably don't want to stay in this video. So, if you're all caught up, if you've seen the finale, the season 6 finale, then let it, let's discuss this. Um, spoiler warning, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So, Negan finally showed up. How about that? Now, I'm not completely caught up in the comics. In fact, I've been spending most of my spring break reading them. I'm on 50-something, I think. So I don't know what's going on completely there. I did a little research on them before I started reading them when I started getting into the show. So I know what happens in the comics with him. But who do you guys think Negan offed? Um, I have my own kind of theories, but I'm not too sure about them. So, I'm going to start off with my first idea. He was very mad at Carl for the gun, if you remember. And if you remember back at the hilltop, when Jesus was talking about who, when they first met Negan and the Saviors, Negan killed someone of theirs. It was a 16-year-old boy, 15, 16, which would fit in with Carl. Now, I have seen people saying that Carl is safe because Negan said if anyone acts out, will take the boy's other eye out and feed it to his father. So people think Rick and Carl are safe because of that, but he said, then we'll start. So, so there's a little theory that it could be Carl. I feel like it might be, but I know what happens in the comics with that, with him and Carl. So it might not be. Now I've heard, if you guys watch The Talking Dead, Scott M. Gimple said that there are hints as to who it is. Now, it is from the person's point of view. Now, we don't see any hair in the camera, so you have to think there's no hair getting in their eyesight like that. Little demonstration there for no apparent reason. So that could be Abraham, Aaron. Did Rosita have her hair out of her face? Rosita, Eugene, I can't think of all who's there, but that might have been too easy of a hint, so they might have just been all like, oh, the hair isn't that big of a deal, we just wanted to give you a clear shot of Negan as he bashed the person's face in. Um, I could see it being Abraham because Abraham was prepared to take it, if you guys watch closely. Everyone else looks scared, but Abraham kind of puffed out his chest. He was looking at Negan like, I'll do it. I'll sacrifice myself. But Negan being Negan, I don't know if he would go for sacrifices. Also, with Abraham... Negan says when he's bashing the face in, taking it like a champ, and we see he's kind of getting up. Now that would make sense if it's Abraham, because Abraham is a tough guy, so it would make sense if he survived the initial hit. Um, I don't see it being a female character. If you read the comics, you'll know why. 
Megan's kind of got a policy. But at the same time, not really sure. Also, with the female characters, I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. I don't see any of the female characters that were there really being able to take it like a champ and start kind of getting back up. Especially if he did what he thought he would do, or what he was talking about doing, and putting Maggie out of her misery. Maggie wouldn't be able to do that. She's already in enough pain. She's already sick. Whatever's going on with the baby. So that pretty much saves Maggie. Now, on Talking Dead, they said it's a beloved character. Now, when you think of a beloved character, you would think someone like Glenn, Maggie, Daryl, Rick. I don't see Aaron being a beloved character yet. I mean, we don't know that much about him. Like, we, we really haven't learned that much about him. We haven't even seen him that much. Now, in my opinion, I do think Eugene is a beloved character. I, I love Eugene. But I think altogether he's not considered a beloved character because he's not really one of the main people in our group. Like one of the original people, I guess is what I'm looking for. So that, I, I would think Eugene's kind of safe there. But I'm really not sure. <laughs> Just some theories to throw out there. Um. I don't know if they'll follow the comics and go with who they did in the comics, if you know who that is. Um, I'd like to kind of hope that they do something a little anticlimactic and make it someone who actually isn't beloved, but they're saying that this is going to do, this is going to start a whole new story. <laughs> Excuse me. So the death of this person is going to be a whole new story. Now, I could see it being Daryl. Many reasons here, but for one, Negan might just be putting him out of his misery. Dwight already shot him. He's been bleeding for how long? I mean, I know it was just a shoulder shot, but I mean, he got him good enough. I don't really know how gunshot wounds work. Um... Another thing is, Norman Reedus has a new show coming out, uh, isn't it, like, I think it's Ride with Norman Reedus, where he goes around the country, riding on a motorcycle, stopping at places, and they didn't really seem, on Talking Dead, they didn't really seem to answer questions about Daryl. They kind of avoided them. It makes me kind of think they might be saying bye to Daryl. Now everyone, I feel like everyone would be a little bit, more than a little bit, obsessed, not obsessed, upset if Daryl died. In fact, I have a shirt in my closet says that says, if Daryl dies, we riot. And I know before, Norman actually said that he would burn his trailer if he got killed off. But it could be his choice. Now, I would think if he's going to leave because of his new show, he would be smart and not, they wouldn't kill him off in case his show doesn't work out and he wants to come back. But, you never know. So who do you guys think it was? Kinda worried. I, I won't lie, I, I was worried all night during that whole episode. I was, I was so worried. I'm still a little worried, but by the time October comes, we're probably going to lose all the tension until it starts. But yeah, leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think Negan got? What do you think of these theories? I mean, if you got anything you could add to them, that would be awesome. But I think I'm going to leave this here. So, I'll see you guys next time.